Hey, Reef Builders, Evan Montgomery here. As I'm sure all of you are aware by now, uh, Jake Adams passed away a little over two weeks ago while on a flight to Bali for a scuba diving trip. We still don't know an official cause yet, but we know that whatever took his life was uh, very sudden and seemingly free of pain. So at least there's that. Um, this is obviously an absolute shock to everyone, especially his wife Windsor and the rest of the Adams family, as well as myself and the team here at Reef Builders. Uh, personally, I've spent more time with Jake over the last four years than with any other person, by far. Working with him since the early days of the studio, when at that point the only aquatic life was contained in a nano in the workshop. Building the studio really was the opportunity of a lifetime. And though I've been in the hobby since I was a child, I basically had to forget everything I knew about reefing and adopt the Jake Adams ways. It was just the two of us running the studio, so inevitably I learned the inner workings of his passion in great detail. The time I was able to work with Jake was a true blessing, and I miss him every minute of every day. I'm sure I'm not the only one who still keeps pulling out my phone ten times a day to ask Jake a question or bounce an idea off of him. Although taking care of Jake's tanks the last couple of weeks has been quite emotional. I have been there every day, so don't worry, the Reef Builder studio you all know and love isn't going anywhere anytime soon. We have no shortage of ideas for future videos, and I can't wait to bring them to you. The amount of support from the community in all areas of the industry has been extremely heartwarming. We've heard from everybody we know, all corners of the globe, and it feels a little better to know that we're not going through this alone. Jake's family has set up a GoFundMe to help support Jake wife's, Jake's wife, Windsor, who they just found out is expecting their first child. I'll include a link in the video description if anybody is interested in helping out. Anyway, about 30 minutes before Jake left for the airport, we shot a video showcasing the various automatic filter rollers we use around the studio. It was due to come out shortly after we received the devastating news, so needless to say, it took us some time to think as to whether it should be released or not. I sat down and began editing it just to see how I felt about it, and after getting a ways into it, I really started to feel that Jake would never want his last video to be abandoned on my laptop forever. Trust me, you'll be seeing plenty of myself in the future, so till then, enjoy the last video featuring the absolutely one-of-a-kind Jake Adams. What's going on my fellow reef builders? I'm Jake Adams. It's been a minute since we've done a video from the Reef Builder Studio because cameraman Evan went to Norway, produced some really awesome videos showing off some aquariums from Scandinavia. So if you haven't seen those, make sure to go back and see um, how they do it over there in, in Northern Europe. But today we're gonna talk about automatic filter rolls. This is a technology that I've been following uh, attentively since about 2010. And finally today, we have a wide selection of models to choose from. And uh, today we just wanna talk to you about some of the different models that we use, uh, where we use them, where we still would like to use them, and five good reasons to install an automatic filter roll on your aquarium. So thanks for joining us on this video and let's get started. So curiously, we want to start our journey talking about automatic filter rolls and discussing one of the tanks where you will see the most possible benefit from automatic filter rolls. This is an aquarium that we don't already have an automatic waste exporting device and that is the number one reason to install an automatic filter roll. It's going to catch all the uneaten food, all the fish poop, every little bit of waste, and it's going to export it into a used up roll before it can break down into your aquarium. So um, I wanted to show you this tank because this is a, an aquarium where we've, we have a lot of fish, we feed them more food and more rich food, but we haven't been able to install one on here because we just don't have the room on this particular sump. So that's kind of one of the important uh, uh, factors to consider as far as automatic filter rolls. I know a lot of aquariums are coming with 
are shipping with much larger sumps, that makes it a lot easier to install an automatic filter roll. But on this sump, we just kind of have the basics, uh, some filter socks, um, a protein skimmer, automatic top off, and it's good uh, for this system. But we do have, we have to do a certain amount of water change to keep the nitrates down. But on a lot of reef tanks and fish aquariums, even fresh water, an automatic filter roll is gonna be really, really helpful at uh, helping you reduce your nutrient load in your aquarium and uh, you know reducing or increasing the time between your need to do water changes. The second most important reason to use an automatic filter roll is it's just a lot less maintenance than a filter sock and in some cases it can be a lot more effective. A filter sock is you know one of those things that is just really useful for mechanical filtration but you know on most aquariums you're getting a week at best be before it's clogged up and this particular setup um, this is a Kate aquarium it only came with one filter sock holder so we had to shoehorn um, the Red Sea Reef mat the RS500 onto this aquarium but there was plenty of room in the sump. Um, if you're using filter socks and you, you know, clean them very often, uh, you're just still going to be getting the benefits of an automatic filter roll. And, uh, but having an automatic filter roll is one of the ways to really reduce maintenance and it's just going to be a lot more effective over time. So um, that's our number two reason. It's just so much better than filter socks. It costs more up front, but I think down the road in maintenance, effectiveness, and uh, just sheer enjoyment of the aquarium, uh, an automatic filter roll is just going to work so much better. The third reason that you might want to use an automatic filter roll is to have clearer water. We spend a premium on having ultra clear glass on most aquariums these days. Um, it would be a shame for your water to not be as clear as it possibly can be. And um, one of the only things that's kind of slowing down the adoption of automatic filter rolls is there's not really any great options for the smallest of tanks or the largest of tanks. And the largest model that we've uh, been able to employ so far is the Deltec VF8000. Um, this one actually runs a whole bunch of tanks, but we really notice a big difference in clarity when this is running on the roll and it's, everything's going really, really well. So um, also having super clear water is gonna increase your light penetration uh, inside your aquarium. Maybe not such a big deal if you have a smaller tank, but if your tank's you know anywhere around two feet or deeper, um, you're just gonna get a lot better light penetration into your aquarium. And it's gonna help keep it clearer overall, right? We talked about the nutrient export aspect, but when you're nutrient you're pulling out all of those particles um, that contribute to the yellowing of the water, um, you're gonna have clearer water and it's gonna be a lot more, a lot less yellow overall without using carbon. So um, this is a Deltec VF8000. We love it for a little bit higher uh, volume demands. And uh, yeah, that's what we got for that. The fourth reason that you might want to look into using an automatic filter roll for your reef aquarium is to quiet down the tank. Now this seems like a kind of foregone conclusion these days that most aquariums should use a continuous siphon drain with an emergency overflow. But for other systems, you don't necessarily always have that flexibility. So this entire system, this rack is all tied in together and there's just one common drain for all of them. And I remember when I first set up this tank, it was just, unacceptably loud and if you go back you'll remember when I first put this filter roll on here and talked about how it made it so quiet because it's muffling the sound and the bubbles and the water that I didn't even you couldn't really hear that was on so this is a less obvious one for I think a lot of reefers who have set up a, a, a new reef tank within the last handful of years if you have a continuous siphon drain and an emergency overflow you won't have to worry about that but if you have the kind of setup that has one primary drain an automatic filter roll is going going to really quiet it down. Um, on this particular setup, we use the uh, Clarice Gen 2 SK5000 because we've been using it for a long time. Um, but let me show you a newer version of that particular automatic filter roll. So the fifth and the primary reason that we use automatic filter rolls here at the Reef Builder Studio is to reduce maintenance on all of the other equipment. It is a foregone conclusion that having an automatic mechanical filter that is always pulling out the waste is going to keep your sump cleaner. But the dot that most people don't necessarily connect is that reducing everything that goes into your sump from all the little incrustations, uh, even maybe little bitty snails, little limpets, little particles of sand, um, those things 
things, including the detritus and the biofilm, they get clogged in your pumps, in your return pump, in your feed pumps, in your protein skimmer, especially with that needle wheel impeller that is just made like a sponge to catch a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and so if you have a mechanical filtration, you're just gonna reduce so much of that stuff going into your pumps, they're gonna work better, they're gonna work quieter, and they're gonna last longer because you won't have so much wear and tear. Um, this is the newer aquarium that we set up that we moved starting earlier this year, the Fat Cube. Uh, we've got a whole video series on building up this aquarium, um, including when we first set up this sump. Um, this is running a newer version of the Clarisy. This is the Clarisy Gen 3 SK3000. Um, and since we've been running it in this tank since the beginning, all of the equipment here from the Aqua Vitro Division Protein Skimmer and the return pump should just last a whole lot longer and just stay cleaner in between uh, maintenance intervals. Mm -hmm. Finally, I do want to point out that automatic filter rolls are for any kind of aquarium system. It could be aquaculture, it could be breeding corals, it could be raising freshwater fish. And um, this works just as well in freshwater as it does in saltwater. I just wanted to show another example of the Clarice um, Gen 3 SK5000 that's been running for quite a long time. I think we're getting like five, four or five months on this particular roll. Um, but it's just not, it's not just for saltwater aquariums. It really benefits freshwater tanks and uh, for most most of our tanks here, freshwater, saltwater, um, the tanks that don't have an automatic filter roll, I'm looking at upgrading in the future. In this video, we pre primarily wanted to talk about you know, five good reasons to consider an automatic filter roll. Obviously, we run some of our smallest tanks and our largest tanks without them. You're not gonna be falling behind the curve if you don't have one, but it's just really such a quality of life improvement if you find a really great model. We've shown you the Clarice, the Deltec, and the Red Sea. They all have their strengths and uh, weaknesses. Um, the Deltec's the largest one available in the market right now, and it's just made a really high, uh, durable, uh, PVC. Uh, the Clarice has one of the smallest footprints and it has uh, rolls that are widely available. And Red Sea, they kind of went uh unapologetically large in order to have the filter roll really function. So that's something to really keep in mind as far as um, some of the automatic filter rolls that are being made by just a range of different companies that are just really small. Um, if you have a 20 gallon tank and you're doing a lot of, uh, if you put an automatic filter roll on there, you might have to replace it really, really frequently. You know, we're looking to replace filter rolls about every three months or longer. And that's another thing to really take into consideration. The major brands are going to have have the filter rolls available and they're going to have them available at a very reasonable cost. Um, as far as replacing the automatic filter roll, uh, the Deltec is really easy, the Clarice is a little tricky, but the Red Sea has just knocked it out of the park um, with their implementation. So I'm just going to show you how that works. Just kind of lock up the this part and then pull this out. There's a handle down here and you just twist it. And I'm sure the Red Sea guys would probably do this a little bit better. Pull out this handle, and there's some uh, little tabs right here. And pull that off. You can see all that waste that's being trapped before the automatic filter roll. That's the stuff that's not going into the tank, right? So that's really good. Um, pull out this divider. And when we're going to unlock these pins, pull this up, and uh, just a little screw here. Screw. Here. All righty. Besides being a very large, kind of beefy automatic filter roll, the Red Sea Reef Mat does have the benefit of being the newest version on the market, but it also works with the Reef Beat app, which helps you to better understand the consumption of your automatic filter roll. Um, I will confess that this doesn't play a huge part into our everyday, day-to-day -day operation of um, our automatic filter rolls, but you will need to get it online in order to get it starting in the first place. I hope you guys you know, got something really constructive of this primer about automatic filter rolls. It's a really exciting time in the market to pick one 
one that fits your particular aquarium. Not every single kind of aquarium fresh reef or saltwater fish display is going to benefit from it, um, but if you can, I think you'll see some great quality of life improvements. Um, if you have any specific questions about automatic filter rolls or mechanical filtrations, or maybe just some um, oddball questions that we may not have addressed yet in this particular uh, video, make sure to pop those down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch some of our great content from Scandinavia. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe because we have uh, a lot of great videos coming from Natural Reefs here in the next couple of weeks. And I uh, just can't wait to share that content with you. So uh, thanks again for tuning into this video and we'll catch you guys in another one very soon. Bye everyone. All right, you're rolling. So I've shown you, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Robert. Okay, still rolling? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking.